Good evening. In this tutorial, I'll be going over Ragul from Sinister 1 and 2. The great thing about this makeup is I cannot move my mouth at all. May the voiceover gods be with me. Sinister was actually one of the first horror movies to make me go like, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Like, I seriously thought I was gonna have nightmares from this movie. And now it's one of my favorite movies. For Sinister 2, I was actually on set one of the days. I was shadowing the effects artist for a day and got some footage for you guys. I'll be putting that at the end of the video. All the products that you save are listed somewhere on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. I'm starting off by applying skin safe silicone around my lips. I pre made a little silicone strip by applying it to my leg, letting it dry, and then peeling it off. And I'm just blending that onto my face using more silicone and a spatula. Of all effects, makeup, of silicone is my favorite to work with, other than wax. I'm then powdering it just to get some of the shine off. Using a great alcohol-based airbrush makeup, I'm then just spraying my face and my neck, part of my chest, grip. This paint absolutely does not have to be 100% even, 100% perfect, because he has that veiny type texture to his skin. Using the same color, I'm literally just doing squiggles all around his neck, chest, and face. This will create that veiny type looking spotty texture. Apply eye primer. I'm then using gray eyeshadow just to sketch out where his eye sockets are going to go as well as the structure of his face. Mr. Boogie's got some very intense triangular eye sockets. I'm also sketching out the brow bone as well as giving that furrowed brow in between. You could technically go in with darker makeup right away but it's always better to build up than trying to take it away. I'm also using this black shadow to deepen up the eye sockets as well as define the brow bones. Fill in the eyes using black body paint and set that with black eyeshadow. Also go ahead and line your eyes using a pencil liner. To bring out the shape of the eyes and define the features, I went in with a very light gray body paint and just very slightly outlined the eye sockets. As well as made those eyes a little more pointy. Using black eyeshadow, I then darkened up underneath my nose as well as just around the face. Using the same black shadow, I went ahead and deepened up my temples to create a more defined sunken in effect. As well as did some very defined contouring underneath my cheekbones. Going back to the alcohol based airbrush makeup, I darkened up that mouth area. I also broke up some more squiggly vein textures on the skin. Now the actual makeup in the film itself has more earthy brown tones to it, but when you see him in the film it really reads more of that gray. So I decided to base the character in gray and just go in with a smidgen of brown shadows just to bring that color in. Put your wig on, make your hair look nice, and look fresh to death. Literally. Death. 